there's there's McLeod stepping up, and there's Bailey. There they are. I don't think everyone realizes how happy I am to see you, Liam. Me? Dude, what's up? <laughs> what's good, dude? Not much. It's good to see you. Oh, he's playing... I just said he was a Fox legend and he's playing Falcon. I lied to the screen. Who, uh, Bailey? Yeah. I mean, he kind of is, right? You know, but um, today he's on the... Fa he's actually... Nah, he's definitely a Falco. Like, through and through, I think... Bailey's the type of dude to be Falco. You feel? Well, you feel that? I've only ever played him in one set, which was like all stages Fox Dittos. So. Okay, well. You know. It's my only experience. Okay, I need to. Probably need to like angle this down a bit because it's kind of hard to see sometimes. That's yep. a bit better. Alright, I need to adjust the. Yeah, just a little bit. So this is warm ups at the moment, everyone. Also, uh. Let us know how the audio is on the stream, whether or not I need to turn the game or the uh, or the uh, microphones up or down. Has anyone ever told you that you sound like a real professional? Th that I sound like a real professional. A real professional. <laughs> I mean, like listen to the tone. And oh the right, you're right. Saying, well, like, I mean, if you commentate for long enough, you kind of like build up your own little habits and whatnot. So like, I mean, it's only kind of natural. I feel, and also. Uh, I guess I get a lot of my confidence from like working in pubs and stuff. Right. So like I've kind of developed that little way to speak to people, you know? Like yeah. where it's like you always leave them hanging a little bit so that they can kind of jump in with their own thoughts. Um, it's just a good way to talk, I guess. <laughs> like, right. And also I kind of did a bit of study on like effective communication just in general. Ready? Commitment to the stream. I mean, I just sure. it was just a subject at uni, but... <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, what's what's up, everybody? Um, we have a quite a tournament today, actually, because we, we got so we got Redwood, who is a Team Fortress Two player that I played in a team with from Queensland, Damn. and he's here for a melee tournament. He's just in Adelaide for a while, so he's like, uh, he's like, oh yeah, I'll come to a melee tournament, Kai. I'll be Ooh, did you see that? He just Roy zoned. Falco grabbed just Roy zoned. MSJ, I know you were in chat. You know all about that. Oh, let's go. Let's go Bailey. Let's go Bailey. Bailey's my boy. So yeah, so last week, instead of um, playing any uh, melee to speak of, we just set up our setups and uh, we played TF2 instead. Right. And Are you going to uh, do any of those tournaments? Sorry? Are you going to do a team TF2 tournament? Maybe we'll do like a ulti duo one day. Right. That'll be really good. Uh, we, we just need to get together like 12 people, six, six per team. Like if... You would have to, yeah. You would have to get twelve people for a full team. That's why Ultra Duo is good because you only need uh, two people per team. Right. Is that like a the arena match where you've got like one life? Uh, no. So Ultra Duo is like a custom map uh, where it's one. Yeah, yo. Uh, it's a custom map where one there's one soldier and one medic on each team, and there's one capture point, and it's just a king of the hill type thing. All so right. it's just like. It's kind of like, for the soldiers, it's kind of like the basic element of uh, fighting in TF2, and you're like testing that aspect of the game. And it's also a really good challenge for the medics, because um, you've got to be good with your yeah. heels and like moving yeah, and surfing and stuff. Target. But anyway, enough about another, uh, enough about uh, uh, an actual dead here. game. Yeah, uh, um, enough about an actual dead game. Let's talk about one that people say is dead, but actually isn't, and that's the one in front of us. Bailey played right before our eyes. How can you say it's dead? In, in 2019 as well. Um, no, but on Bailey's FOD, up. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Bailey's doing so well against Peach. I mean, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend. Despite Johnny is a legend. <laughs> despite the uh, the jump cancel to land on the platform between stocks, it hasn't hasn't helped him much. Nah, nah. It, it's not been too bad so far. Um, I th also. Personally, I actually kind of rate McCloud's Peach a bit. I think yeah. it's a bit scarier than his Luigi in some really? ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, one thing oh, that his one. the one thing that like Luigi suffers with is like being able to uh, control edge guards and like cover options on the way back. Oh yeah, you what dumbass. You dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna float. You right weren't. In. You yeah. weren't. You actually died because you just floated into an invincible guy. Uh, how do you feel about this, McCloud? Watching back at the vods. I've been told Please. the strategy is to, to avoid the attacks while they're in the Some say. Um, 
Yeah, McLeod, when you go back and watch this, please at me on Twitter. That was a good power shield. Uh, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, McLeod's not teching either. Oh, yeah. Bailey's just like putting out his aerials just like just after Peach does, which is what you want to do. You, you want to be putting your aerials out just after Peach does. Uh, oh, yes, Bailey. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a huge Bailey fan. I'm a huge fan. Coming in from above there, pressuring on the platform. Peach can't. Her best moves tend to be in front of her or quite closer to her than yeah. straight up of her. You kind of have to be real, you have to be real precise with the up air, and you're probably going to trade. Go on FD where it's harder for her to do that. And she gets the sick grab from it. Seems good. Will it be enough to overcome the legend? I don't know. FD is kind of hard. If, you, if you're not used to it as Falco vs. Peach, it's kind of hard. Yeah. I know. I, def I definitely didn't really like beat Musket here when he was playing Peach for a while. Uh, and then one time I almost forced stuck them out of Streaky Gax. And then I'm, then that, that stage was kind of gone from that point on. So you had the hope for the advantage of Streaky? Apparently I'm just a god at Street Geeks. Yeah. But um, I don't, I, I don't know. Who knows? That was a long time ago now. That was like over three or four years ago now. I mean, it was at Street Geeks, so. So yeah, really, know. it's timeless. Oh, Bailey's actually... Oh, oh, sick jump read. Oh, he's everywhere. Peach wants to go. All right. That was the actually sick by face. McLeod. Um, yeah, he did that sick jump read and then like... I don't know. Teching in place there is really shit. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm being honest, like teching away is actually better. Even though like you're in more lag. Um, because like if the Falco just down has like that, he's just going to stand there, right? So don't just give it to him for free. Tech in, like at least tech in, because then you can live for longer as Peach. Hmm. Like I think McLeod hasn't really gotten to the point of like uh, being a floaty Peach main where he's like thinking about really how to live the best. Hmm. So we'll see. Also, oh. everybody in the stream, please share out the stream to your friends. Come and watch some Adelaide melee. He's we currently got uh, running an even against Bailey. Oh, it's a pretty close game, actually. Could have had this one. Like, I think Bailey could make it a 2-0, but like this could just as easy go to the last game last stop, you feel? Yeah. Just all depends on whether or not McLeod can take this cleanly and then hold on to the next stop for a while. Depends if Bailey's feeling it, you know? Alright, I like... Uh, Bailey's pressure is really scaring McLeod. Oh, did you see that Phantom? Phantom, Phantom Pan. That's Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid 5, the, the Phantom Pan. Look, that's that's that where was. Uh, oh, that was the MGS. got it from. Yep, yep. He's a big me Melee fan this whole time. Oh, nice Bailey. DI. Nice DI. Yeah. <laughs> this wasn't good enough. Oh. Okay, okay. Even Steven again. Yeah, I like this. Do you want to commentate, Nick? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh right. Technology. God. Right. Lord TF is actually... You know he's a pro gamer? Uh, Ex-pro gamer? Should I put Nick or SA Nick? Name, please. Actually, do you know my real name? Uh, I believe it's Nick. My last name then. Uh, you, I don't want to dox you on the stream. On there? I don't want to dox you on the stream. <laughs> no, no, I'm doxing myself. All right. Yeah, I, a, I've, I, got a, I've got like a burner phone. You can put that number on there. If people want to get in touch. That's fine, but they can't harass me once they throw the phone out. I don't think I have your phone number. So really? I don't think so. Maybe. I think I. No, I have um, Clyde's phone number. Though. Yeah. But not yours. I don't think. Shut the fuck up, Dallas. What? <laughs> he's so rude. Oh, sick air does. Now he's a fraud. <laughs> God, Dallas is actually a fraud. He didn't show up today. Yeah, I'm like me. Yeah. You're actually the realest gamer out of you and Dallas. Uh, that might be true. That's definitely true, actually. I'm more of a gamer. See, Devin came to my house in like this fucking super expensive Mercedes. Jesus, that doesn't sound like a gamer to me. We're not a gamer. It was ridiculous. Oh, yeah. in the fucking hood of Blair Ethel. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, terrible side dude. FD, despite, I don't think he did like really any chain grabs. Not very many at least. 
the uh, I think the lag platforms really help them out with coach. Uh, whatever you say, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> is it 1-1? One, one? Yeah, it is 1-1. One, one. Bailey won so game nuts. 1 on one FOD, game. and he's going back to FOD. it as 1-1? One, one? Yeah, I was trying to... Oh, man, I misclicked. There we go. I was still like virus. Oh, he's going... Going on They all fucking you. say that. Oh. The cloud oh, giving up on your girl, Peach. The cloud is renowned as a gamer with no principles, so it's yeah. not that surprising to me. Ooh. That's a nice, nice uh, follow-up. Yeah. Throwing him off in the last game. <laughs> Maybe he really hates the stage with Peach for some reason. It's Can't like not great for platforms. Luigi either. Yeah. Uh. And even games. Yeah. What's the block? Is Bailey just good? When did that happen? Maybe. Maybe he's just playing Falco and winning the game. The old saying, uh, you shoot lasers, you win neutral for free. As some, someone always said. I've said that before. Yeah. I've said Falco's the easiest character in the game. I don't think he is anymore, but when I said it, it was true. Nice evasion. Trying to get around. He's gonna go down a stock, but now he's up. Do you know how easy Falco was in like 2015? So easy. Oh I mean, I can imagine. I remember when I first started playing. Falco, uh, back aerial, no lag when it lands, up tilt, the follow up. This laser, this it's laser too much. down air. I, I mean, for me, that wasn't even like, that was like, too advanced. Yeah. Well, you had a sword, so you could just... Oh, I was oh, playing Fox. Fox. Oh yeah, no, it's impossible. Ooh. Nice. Pretty cheap how Luigi doesn't have to fall asleep and get punished next up, yeah. next up like uh, Julie Pop does. Maybe she'd be nerfed. I wish Bailey hit those upbeats against Sub. That was a powerful shine. Up. Luigi was. Oof. Yeah. He really feels it. Luigi's the more emotional of the two Mario Bros. Yeah. Although, actually. Oh, no. Nice. Every time. If you did the side B, if you side B there, uh, you keep your momentum. If you jump, you cancel some of the momentum. If you jump, you would have lived. So, what, what you're saying is, you're a better Luigi. In that situation, I would not have died. Yes. Yet. That's, that's what it is. Taking the blow for Taco. Oh, I should have died. Oh, I'm really lucky to get him to the shine now. Slipping around. He's too slick. Oh, I don't know why he was getting hit by that. Yeah, he just sort of took it. Could have yeah. definitely blocked that one. We've gotten out of there. Chase him down. That's, that's, it's good that you can F smash Luigi and you can Oh, you. that's painful! Yeah, you, hate that? you hate to see that kind of thing happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the kind of guy who will wave dash back and uh, keep doing it. His speech just wave dashes back a lot. He does other things too, but. Uh, Went in. So, like, when he's being lazy by Falcon, he'd love the wave dash back. Just eking out every little bit of damage with this stock. Uh, oh, that could be it. No. Bailey's being too, too cute, I reckon. But she, yeah, it's not his fault, is it? <laughs> she needs to. Uh, <laughs> uh, just one that way, I guess. But, uh, there, that would have been uh, probably a stock. Oh, I can't believe he Oh my god! Oh, terrible. He's dead! No. Is he? Oh. There you go. Oh, There's the Bailey's getting so lucky. Oh no! He's done! That's rough. Yeah, he dude. didn't play as well as the cloud did. True. He lost. That's the way the cookie crumbles. There's one thing you can say about McCloudy, it's that he's not he doesn't play too cute. No. He didn't didn't give a damn about character loyalty. Yeah. Although he did do a nice up B as uh True. Microsoft J so sensibly pointed out in the chat. Yes. It was uh, a nice nice one. It was a nice Smart. one. Smart. I should probably warm up. I've been playing 